Brevet captains are number 33, Skyler Simone, number 51, Anna Santos, and number 70, Marissa Nunez Oliveira. The Patriots are coached by Becky Coots, Justin Pizzuto, Jason Torrey, and Aaron Tucker. Winthrop captains are number 11, Mila Martucci, number 12, Ellie English, and number 30, Six, Grace Arena. The head coach for Winthrop is Rachel Desola, Lauren Costanigan, and John Cross. It's a little windy up here today, so sorry for the echo. But it is a beautiful day here at Viking Stadium at Miller Field. Three officials are explaining the rules to the captains. Now hopefully today is a nice clean game. The last time this was played was 2019, and I believe the Patriots defeated Winthrop that year with the all-star play from Keanu Paul Town, Taylor Sesco, Emily DeJulo, and a few other unbelievable athletes that senior class had. Crowd is starting to fill in here at Miller Field. We've captain number 75, Raisa Novo, out there as well, center. It's game time here at Miller Field. Both teams are very excited to start this tradition again after a year off due to COVID. Rivera is kicking off. Skyla De Simone is holding it for kicker number 36, Carolina Botero. Here we go. Carolina kicks off. Winthrop Mila Matucci grabs the ball. She's going. Oh, flags pulled down at the 45 yard line. Nice run by back by number 11, Mila Matucci. Rivera's 
Defense is coming on the field. Some confusion on the field because Rivera took the ball from Winthrop and kicked off and then Winthrop gave the ball back to Rivera so the officials couldn't find the ball there for a minute. It looks like quarterback is for Winthrop is number 11, Mia Martucci. Rivera's defense is on the field. Defensive captain is Anna Santos, so let's see what Coach Miss Santos has. Mila's on the outside wing, chased down by Bella Correa. And she's in for a touch. Oh, they're going to call that back. She's down at the 30 yard line. She's flag guarding. So, number 11 for Winthrop got called for a flag guarding down at the 29 yard line. So, you can't block your flags as you're going to run. It's unintentional, it's a natural runner's instinct, especially if you're an athlete like these girls are out here on the field today. You're just naturally protecting yourself. You can't block your flag as you're starting to run. You have to keep your arms up above your waist. And it looked like um, number 11, Mila, Mia, flag guarded on that last run. Rivera's defense has to start working together and communicate with each other a little bit on that play. The nerves are starting to come out. We're a minute in the game. It's a lot of action already. The Winthrop fans didn't like that call. They're a little rowdy on the outside of us. Again, number 11 with the run. Nice pull, flag pull by Rivera, number 81, I believe that was. Mariana Chavera. Sorry, Mariana, if I'm saying your name wrong today, ladies. I just got the roster this morning, so I apologize. That was a great pull right at the line. It's maybe a push them back a yard. Second down and nine. Here we go, second down on the 30. Winthrop lost the yard on that run. They're taking a lot of time off the clock on this play. Uh, the end around play. Bella Correa's on the outside. Gianna Mahoney. Oh, Winthrop's in. Nope. Winthrop is not in. They got pulled down on the two yard line. The flag was pulled on the two yard line. That was a great run. By number 21, the crowd's not happy with that call, but she did get her flag down at the one yard line. It was a great, great pull by Gianna Mahoney, number 55 for Rivera. Need a big stop here by the Rivera defense. Bella Correa pushed her to the outside, just got lost in the track. It was great blocking by Winthrop. Could have been a false start on the outside before the play. The official sign for the clock to run. We're down at eight minutes into the first quarter. And Winthrop is charging down fields. We have Astrid Norega up on the front line, along with number 70, Marisa Nunez. And number 11, Mila Martucci is in for a touchdown from the one yard line run. Right now, Winthrop is up 6 nothing. we are going to see if they're going up for the two-point conversion or they're kicking a field goal. It looks like Winthrop's going to go for two. A few good runs for Winthrop on that drive, but I know Rivera's defense is going to come back next, next possession. Coach Coots and Pizzuto are going to make the adjustments over on the sideline.
Muslims going for two. We have quarterback number 12, Ellie English, in there. She's getting to the line. She's just got the play from her coach. There's a lot of movement on the line before the play. Ah, uh, dead ball. Nice try, try to go 12 to 11. Didn't work. Nice break up by Rivera. They didn't jump on the on the miscount. Winthrop's jumping a little bit before the play snapped. A little confusion on the line. But Rivera's coming out for offense. We can kick off. Winthrop's getting ready for a kickoff. Kick off to Rivera. Looks like Skylar De Simone, Angela Nguyen, Isabelle Uso is back for the Patriots. We also have number 55, Gianna Mahoney, number 51, Anna Santos, number 50, Trinity Sim, number 11, Amara Ruzo who's off the field. I believe Amara is a quarterback for the Patriots. Manuela Mayo is kicking. That's going to be picked up by number 33, Skylar D. Simone, who's going running the wrong way. She is knocked down by a slew of Winthrop defenders. That was a tough one there. It hit Gianna's hands, and they looked like they didn't know what to do there. They were waiting for the ball to get back to Angela, who went in the back. But here we go. Rivera's offense is signed to take the fields. They got loaded weapons. Skyler is, uh, looks like Skyler is running back. Got all the offensive weapons out there. Have number 36, Carolina Botero, so fall soccer player, Gianna Mahoney, volleyball player, Skylar DeSimone, field hockey, basketball, and track, I believe. We have number 75 at center, Raisa Novo. And Amara is up to center. Got the offensive line. It looks like you have Skylar and Carolina in the backfield. Number 65 getting off the field, uh, missing a mouthpiece, I believe, or a flag. This offense looks like it's pretty lethal. You got Skyler in the back, it's the fullback, Carolina as a running back. Amara, you got a handoff to Carolina. She's out on the wing. She, oh. Well, we got a flag. We got a penalty. Ray just got pushed back. There's a flag guarding, I believe, on Batero. Or the push. You can't do that. You can't do that. Okay. You can't do that. The ref is just making sure they understand the rules. The crowd is letting them know that they cannot flag guard. Uh, it's a little wild crowd over here with the Winthrop athletes, but it's a nice atmosphere. You know, high school kids being high school kids, which is this what we live for. This is why the kids are you know, playing this game. Get the offensive line back up. You have Skyler behind Amara, Carolina behind Skyler. Skyler up the middle, they pulled their flag, so now we're at third down and about five. Nope, third down 15. Try the handoff, but Winthrop didn't bite. Third down, it's a nice play by Winthrop's defense. Don't go too far, Mara. Mara gets the play from Coach Becky Coots. We have number 80, Lorraine Train, on the outside, on the line. So it's like playing tight end. Gianna on the line. Maggie Lou. We got a pitch to Carolina Batero down the line. She runs right over, runs down the line. It's fourth down in about seven from here. Let's see what they do. Let's see if Rivera's going to go for it or they're going to punt. What's up? 
We're now joined by Sign First Class Chambers. Sign First Class Chambers, Massachusetts Army National Guard, the only branch that offers 100% tuition and fees to any state college university. So now he came up and joined us up in the. What am I? Oh, sure. He's going to join me up here on the press box. This is Coach O'Donnell, IHS girls soccer coach, up here in the box announcing the game. We're a uh, beautiful day here at Winthrop. Let's hope that uh, we can convert on this fourth down. Struggling here on uh, offense a little bit. Let's get convert on the fourth down. Patriots are going for it. Looking like a jet sweep. Oh, did I call that a what? Get the corner. Number 36, keep going. Oh, flag was pulled by number, uh, number 30, Isabella Uso. Big play by Winthrop's defense. It's Winthrop's ball now, heading into score. First and 10. With a proud fight up after that stop. Let's see if the Pats D can answer. Coach, Coach Coots and Coach Pizzuto, Tori, and Tucker over there are talking to the offense. Probably going to re-strategize to make sure they get some uh, points up on the board before the end of this first half. See if defense steps up big out today. We have Angela Hu playing safety. Number 24, Lena Tran out there. Linebacker crew, looks like Winthrop's offsides. Patriots look to have a short bench compared to years past. Yeah, the Winthrop Ross is a little bit bigger than ours. We're definitely struggling with the sides. Oh, fumble. fumble! Oh, Isabella Bella Carrillo is right there to pick it up, but ball's dead, I believe, once it hits the ground in this powder puff game. Can't risk any head injuries. It's been some nice contact the first couple of drives here between both teams. Winthrop's offense looks like to give it to number 11 on the that handoff to number 11 again. They look like number 11's their main. Oh, nice oh, blow nice by number 50, Trinity Sim. It's about a three yard gain, actually back to the line of scrimmage. Looks like Winthrop likes to go from 12 to 11 on almost every play. The line is a nice distraction. They pretend to go out wide and hand it to number 11 every time. Quarterback number 12, Ellie English, is getting the call from her coach on the sideline. Look for Winthrop to play the keeper here. With third down and about eight. Let's see if Winthrop jumps this time. They seem to be leaving a little bit early. Should have been a false stop, but oh, almost by Isabella Correa. Oh, Number she gets 11, in. Touchdown. On the sweep. Wow, there's a little bit of a false start on the line, so the officials got to be aware of that. It's the third time that's happened in this game. It's number 11, second touchdown of the game. Even with the false start, Rivet had four missed tackles on the sideline. They're going yeah. to they're gonna grab those. They do. Flag grab is pretty hard when you're not used to it. You're going to. Watch the waist. Okay, give him a step and then go out and attack the waist. I wonder how the golfers behind us are liking this play uh, playlist coming out of the stadium. It's, it's good. The golf course looks nice and green, a little wet. Yeah. It's a little chilly over there on that side, though. Oh, the quarterback just picked up her flag. It should have been a dead ball if the quarterback didn't have her flag on during that play. It might have fell off during the midst of the commotion at the line. 
Looks like Winthrop's going to go for two. They're up 12 nothing right now with four minutes to go in the uh, first quarter. Coach Coots on the sideline, talking up to her offense, coming up with some different ideas plays. Uh, Isabella. She's going to throw. Oh, oh, almost. Oh, nice play by the defense. Stuck with her. Almost an interception. It's an incomplete pass. First time Winthrop's thrown the ball today. Revere's going to come up with some big plays here if they want to get some points coming out of this first quarter. I think Revere's got the cheaters out. They seem a little bit nervous. I know it's a nerve-wracking uh, time. No, after last year they didn't get to play. First big contest after COVID. Big crowd here. You know, both sides have a big crowd. It's nice to see everybody out. Number 81, Manuela Mejia kicking off for Winthrop. Nice boot. Nice boot oh, right block. to Skyla De Simone. She's going to pick it up. Oh, she sat down at the 40. Skyla does not look happy. You know, she hit it out of her hands. Nice line drive kick by number 81. See the offense come up with something big here. They're going to score before the end of this quarter and then hold them on deep. Carolina Batero checked in. Amara. Ruzo. Gianna Mahoney, Skylar De Simone, Lorraine Tran. Raisa Novo. Isabelli Urso. Marissa Nunez on the line. It's a pitch to Carolina on the outside. Oh, she got, she got the got flag just behind the, the line of scrimmage. Just behind the line of the scrimmage. They're stopping Carolina on the outside. Winthrop's just grabbing the flags. They're going just for the flags, no body. Rivera's going to be a little quicker. The line's get, not holding the line. Need some more pushback from those forward blockers. Definitely do. They, they got to help Carolina and Skyler out on the run. Just hold the... Hold the line a little bit longer. Carolina hit the outside, she'll be good. She's fast. Revere crowd needs to get into it too. Awful quiet over there. They traveled well, but I don't hear any noise over there. There's a Winthrop crowd has been rowdy since they stepped in the stadium. Been very loud cheering on their team. We have Lillian. Calderon up on the line as well. Oh, oh no, oh, Miss Q. Miscommunication. Rivera is not feeling it. Their offense seems very confused right now. Amara's flag got pulled and they didn't seem like they knew what to do. Winthrop's coming right off the line though. They're getting in there quick. Third down and about 15. Third, third and a million. Need to get something going here. Get just over two minutes left in the quarter. They can't walk away without any points. Let's see if they go for a pass on this one. But it seems like the Winthrop line's getting in awful quick. So maybe that's what the official was just talking to them about, about don't jump the gun. No, their offense is leaving a little bit quick. So let's see here, third down about 15. There's the pitch. Carolina's on the outside. She's got the whole, she's got the whole field going. She gets down to about fourth down and about eight. We're gonna have to go for it here. Yep. Down in distance, almost at midfield. My, my view looked a little bit different. The official gave him two yards less than what I thought. 
about four and seven. About 50 seconds left in the quarter. Rivera's down 12 nothing to Winthrop. Amara is getting the play from coach Becky Coots. Becky Coots dad. See the manager at the Co-op Bank in Charlestown. He's also a uh, revolutionary enactor. I believe so. Yeah. The clock is running. The official has called a timeout. The clock needs to stop, but they're run still running the clock. The clock is still running. Oh, the officials are calling at the end of the quarter. You can't go by the clock, I guess, because the officials are saying that this is the end of the quarter. At the end of the quarter, Rivera is down 12 nothing. And that's the end of the first quarter. A lot of confusion on that play. There's still 40 seconds left that we saw on the clock. So the officials had a different time than we did up here in the box. Warm on my back. <laughs> a little chilly up here today. Yeah, it's a little cold up here. I don't... <laughs> Let's get one for the Graham. Carolina with the pitch to the outside. She's gone. She's hit the outside. She's going. She's got that corner. She's got the corner. She's going. She got oh, she tripped tackled out, down out of bounds. Yeah, line. Nice run by Carolina Batero. Oh, there's a flag that came in, taunting. Batero with a nice carry. Uh, penalty on Winthrop, so we're going to gain 15 more yards on Winthrop. So you're going to go down to at least the 20-yard line. That's a penalty on Winthrop. Dead ball foul, personal foul on Winthrop. So that's another add 15 yards onto that run. So Carolina got a nice run, about 25-yard run. She's getting extra yards. She's going down to the 20. So now Rivera is on the Winthrop 22-yard line, heading into score with a personal foul on the outside with the tackle and I believe a taunting penalty. It's a very emotional game. This rivalry between Winthrop and Rivera is strong, especially since next week on Turkey Day, boys football are going to be playing against each other. So the girls are trying to make a statement today to win this game so the boys can win on Wednesday. I mean, on Thursday. Skyler in the back. Carolina out in the back. Isabella Uso on the wing. Let's see what goes on here. Meyer on the center. Got the pitch to Isabella. Isabella on the outside. Oh. oh we're going to get her for hand guarding. Isabella Uso for hand guarding. I want to see them throw. I know Meyer can throw. Get her out on the center and let her shock on it. Meyer is a lacrosse player, I believe. And field hockey. The Bears gonna get inside the end zone on this drive. They've been driving well. Lord, I'm in with the run. Let's see if we get a big pass play here. Plays coming in. We're taking a little bit longer at these plays in. It's only 11 minute quarters. Seems like you wanna go faster than what we were going at. The pace is a little slow. Second down and about 15. We lost a few yards on that. Uh, Myers on the center still. Nope. Hand off to the outside. She breaks one, two. She's oh, here going. she goes. She's going. She's oh, what a spin feet. move. Nice spin move by number 55, Gianna Mahoney. She gets back to the line of scrimmage, so it's third down. And about 20 to go. Quilty on the tackle. 
It's a nice flag pull by Winthrop. Got a lot of offensive weapons for Rebellion. See how we use them. Like to see them throw here. Winthrop's getting crumbling on that line. Myra on the center. Skylar Di Simone in the back. Pitch out to Carolina on the outside. Oh, oh she, she gets grabbed by the shirt. The she got grabbed by the shirt. We're reading the. We've got a timeout by Winthrop. Make its way. Timeout, Winthrop. Clock stopped at about seven. Should be stopped at about seven fifty-five. See if Winthrop puts time back on the clock. But I don't believe they will. I believe they have a rookie clock operator uh, having trouble stopping and starting and not getting the down and distance up there. The Bears using the pitch and the handoffs. It's not working. We've got to come up with something else. We're down 12 nothing. In the second with 7.41 left in the second quarter. Fourth down and 15. The van crowd just woke up. I think they heard you. Seems a little bit we got confused on the line, huh? Oh, back to throw. Here we go. Oh, she got hit as she threw. Oh, oh missed catch. Pass. It's turnover on downs. First and ten, Winthrop. Winthrop's offense taking the field. Rivera's defense gonna make one big stop to get the ball back. That's not very nice. It's a little inappropriate language by the Winthrop crowd. It's not showing good sportsmanship. Sorry for anybody that's watching that. Need one big stop here on defense for Rivera. It's a lot of movement up on the front line. Again, on the outside, you got number 11 on the outside. Nice pull, flag pull by pull Gianna Mahoney. Mahoney on the tackle. Number 11 for Winthrop. She can move, huh? Her dad's actually a hockey coach for Winter College. Okay. Her mom's a soccer coach, great family. She's a senior, I believe her sister's a freshman. All right. Yeah, she gets that edge and just keeps going. Vivea's yeah. got to stop making those tackles before she gains the edge. Winter's got a lot of false stop movement on the line. Oh, they got her at the line. Nice takedown by Bella Korea. She went full body, she didn't even go for the flag, but it was a nice take down by Bella. 
How does that work? If they make an effort for the flag, they can kind of make a little body contact? I believe so. It's yeah. not an open field tackle. Yeah. It's a nice stop, though. That's what we needed. Good run by number 21 for Winthrop Summer Talent. Because you're not far from the false start there on Winthrop. Just under six minutes. Revere's got to make a stop here before the half. Revere's going to jump as soon as they go. They're going to jump. They're waiting. They're delayed. Winthrop's moving right off the ball. Seem like they're moving quick. Back to number 11 on the outside. Bella Carrillo at the almost out. This flag guard. Nope. Oh, she gets hit at the line. What do they say? At the line. No touchdown. Flag. Oh, flag on the play. Let's see what the call is. I believe. Clock stops. On Winthrop. And the crowd does not agree. The crowd definitely doesn't like that call. Bartucci on the carry. Let's see what the signal is. Flag on the play. Oh, maybe it's not on Winthrop. Well, they pulled the flag, but. First and goal. Personal foul. But force to the outside. But. Looks like they got her at the two, but with the penalty, half the distance to the goal, they're on the one now, just inside. Yeah, the official signal there was on Winthrop, but I guess it was on Rivera. Number 11 again. Oh, I see. Touchdown. Looked like she got Oh, they signaled touchdown. It looked like she grabbed the flag just before. That's number 11, it's third touchdown of the day. Rivera's gonna make that adjustment at halftime to stop the run. Either number it's a big comeback for the Patriots. Got a whole nother half to play. The runaway golf cart behind us. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's like you didn't go in that puddle. When might be Wait a minute, is it, it remote controlled? That looks pretty nice. <laughs> yeah. Well, it looks it. Oh. Summer Talent gets in for the two point conversion. Number 33, Skylar DeSimone almost had the flag but just missed it. All right, we're up 20 to nothing, second quarter. Let's see if Rivera can do something on offense with five minutes left to go in the game, in the second half. Oh no, 
she booted it. Angela, hi. Angela, has got the ball. with the ball. Go to the outside, Angela. Where are you going? Oh, she's got she's gonna go. The 30. She's gonna go right straight down the line, not out to the sideline. It seems like Rivera's trying to run out to the sideline instead of running straight down the field. They didn't realize they just go take the ball and go straight. Winthrop is dialed in right now. Rivera's got to answer back here. The offensive line's got to help them out and hold it. Let them be able to get that play on the outside. Support the freshman class. Head to the snack stand for some pizza and refreshments. Send us up to the line. Carolina, Skyla, Gianna in the backfield, Isabella Uso. So you call the play dead? Did she get the she flag? She never or? even. No, Mahoney's flag's on her back. She never. Looked like a double reverse. They blew it dead. The the yeah, they threw it, blew it dead before the second person even got the ball. This offensive line's gonna hold them through. They're just make, pushing their way through. Need more, a little bit more offensive spunk for this part of Puff team today. They got the safeties all the way in. They know they're gonna run. So Carolina get the ball. Gonna block. Oh. oh, she lost her footing. She's gonna run straight down the middle. They got there. They're going to the outside. They're not running, hit their holes. It's like Rivera thinks they have to go all the way to the outside yeah. sideline instead of just going straight up the middle. This isn't Madden 2K. It's going to go right up the middle. Yeah. Oh, Rivera looks a little down right now, but see if their offense, they can make a big play on this third down. They're going to the, try and go to the outside, but they gotta realize they're gonna follow their blocks and the gaps were wide open in the middle. I imagine they practice all week on the turf. That shouldn't be the issue. They've been practicing since the second week in October. Every night. I feel like it's game day jitters. The game's finally here and they're a little nervous, but it might come out different in the second half. Got third down and about 15. Keep using losing yards because we're going backwards on the run play. Just under two, clock's ticking. Carolina on the outside, go through the middle, go. Carolina. No, just go up the middle. She's going down on the sideline. Take that corner. Okay. Uh, flag oh, got pulled. Got, what a tackle. What a tackle by oh. Winthrop. Nice play. She has the gap. She's got to know she's just going to cut straight down the field, stop going to the outside. Morning. No two-minute warning? I believe not. I guess not. <laughs> yeah, punted, I believe. Stop the clock, 55 seconds. Toyota Camry with the license plate B7654 is blocking Fabiano Way. Please move it. Looks like they're going to go for a punt here. Number 11 for Winthrop. Sets up to receive. Practice. Oh, 
I've never seen a punt like this. Carolina's going to no. drop back. Carolina punted oh, it. Skies it. Skies it up. It's a foul. It. It's got the oh. bounce. Nice pull oh, by number tackle. 80. All right. We get him back just Lorraine, over the 50 yard Lorraine line. Train. Nice pull by her. She was right there. 40 seconds left in the half. I don't think Winthrop's going to take their foot off the gas. Winthrop can't find the ball. The Rivers just losing all their yards because they're trying to run to the outside sideline instead of just running straight through the middle where their holes are and their, you know, their pitch is too far back. That's why they keep losing five yards. I think they're in the negative yardage. Probably, yeah, uh, yeah, you're right. They're, they're wasting all their gas going left to right. They need to go north and south. They can come up with some trick plays in this for halftime. Let's see what happens here. Officially, there's 25 seconds left. Winthrop's going to go back to number 11. Handoff, pitch. Uh, oh, throw. she's going to throw. Trick play. Flea flicker. Oh, she caught it. What a play. Oh, my goodness. Nice play by number 11 to 24. And that's the a flea touchdown. flicker. What a play. Not only number 11 has three running touchdowns, and now she has a passing touchdown. Mia Matucci has a passing touchdown and three running touchdowns today for Winthrop. Got to give your hat off to Winthrop there. That was a heck of a play. Matucci's in the end zone for a two-point conversion, so it's 28-0 Winthrop going into halftime. As they come back up the field, Winthrop 28, Revere 0. Winthrop's coach just came over and warned the fans for foul language. Time, so we'll see how Rivera comes out, make the adjustments.
Revan just came back onto the field. Hopefully, Coach Coots, Coach Pizzuto, Coach Tucker. Carried Coach... out the trophy, got the crowd going a little bit. So see let's they... see what's going to go on here. I believe Winthrop's kicking off to Rivera. It's Rivera's ball. Winthrop might go for the onside kick here to start the second half, you know? I know. Weird strategy. They stayed out. They didn't warm up in the locker room during halftime. We'll see what happens here. We have Gianna Mahoney, Skylar DeSimone, Angela Hu, and Isabella Usi in the back to field this kickoff. Kick. Big kick. She got most of the tee. Right to Gianna Mahoney. Gianna just goes run straight. Gianna. Gianna Mahoney beat the outside. There you go. She's going. Oh, her flag was pulled right here at the 42-yard nice line. Just what Revere needed. Get this offense going. 49-yard line. My bad. I was going backwards the wrong way. I think the tee went further than the ball. It sure did. <laughs> Little happy Gilmore action. Amara's coming in from getting the play from Coach Coots. See how we start the second half. Definitely have to score first. The ground ball's dead. Amara had her, but loss of four. Loss of four. We keep going backwards. We gotta move forward. Our offensive line. We have number 33. Oh, this guy was on out there as a fullback, I believe. We're shooting ourselves in the foot with that losing yardage going backwards on every play. We're about second and 15. Senna comes up to the line. Here comes the play. Line stacked. Gianna Mahoney on the outside. She's got the wing wide. She's gonna keep going. She's picked up about, up two. about the 48. Oh. Flags coming. Mahoney on the carry. It's a real late flag. Let's see who it's on. It's gonna be, looks like it's gonna be on Winthrop for clipping. Flag on the play. Yep, penalty on Winthrop, so that's a 15-yard penalty. That's a trip on the Vikings. So Rivera is down to the 40-yard line, heading into score at first down. The crowd is finally into it on the Rivera side. First down, Patriots. Coach Coots is calling in the play with Amara. It seems like they're drawing up something. Head down the book depot via limited copy of the Prince of the Father. Wasting a little bit of time here when we're down 28 nothing. I think we only have 40 seconds to play. Wow, this seems a little bit long. Senna steps up to the line. We have Skyler in the I 
formation with Carolina in the back, Gianna Mahoney on wide. Hand off to Gianna Mahoney. She's got Turn the, the gap. Corner. Oh, she's got the gap. Gianna's got the gap. Gianna. She's got some room. Oh, nice flag pull. Wow. By number 60, I believe, from Winthrop. Mahoney on the carry. That was a great play by. Carroll's on the tackle. I'm going to give her credit there. Farrah Pierre game. Charles, linebacker. That was a great pull by number 40. It's a good run by Gianna Mahoney. They're finally hitting the gap and running down in the holes. It's been open all game, so let's see if they can do this and get five more yards, second and five. About eight minutes remaining in the third quarter. Winthrop's off sides a little bit. They're lined up off sides. Reset. Field line steps up. Again, Jazz to the outside. Oh, what a Lost tackle. Lost it's what a tackle by number 36. That play is not fooling Rivera, uh, sorry, Winthrop at all. She's getting right through the middle. So it's a loss of one, so we're there down in 11. Third down, Patriots. It's a great pull by Winthrop. Center comes to the line. I don't know why the offensive line has to have flags on when they're not getting the ball, but you never know. It's pitch outside to Patero. Oh! oh. Night pull by number 54. Patero on the carry. The Winthrop pulls today are on point. They are getting through that line and just executing. Yeah, Rivera's getting stuck. They can't uh, hit the outside, but Winthrop's defense they're have to is throw on the fire. Ball here. Definitely fourth down. Winthrop's uh, Rivera's going to take a timeout. We have six six twenty one in the third quarter. Winthrop Rivera took a timeout. They started off hot and then. Couple backfield tackles, but great pulls by Winthrop. Winthrop's defense is on fire. I think if that quarterback makes the pitch just a little faster, they'll, they'll get that edge. But the Winthrop uh, defense is just coming right through the middle. Yeah, I feel Amara's too close to the center. She's going to back up a step. Maybe that helped them get that distance that they need to make that pitch work. flag that was a good probably the best one all day they gotta do that more often so now it's Winthrop's ball turnover on downs nice pull by Winthrop's defense great run by Carolina in the offense we see that hopefully we see that next uh, next series Rivera defense coming on that's led by Astrid Noregra we got Bella Korea on the outside line Amara Skeet, Anna Santos, Just trying to make sure I cover everybody on this team. The number 65, Michelle Jimenez, number 67, Diane Minko. 
confusion on the defense. Winthrop's already up at the line. We got the handoff to number 11. Miss tackle. Oh, flags down. Winthrop flag guarding. Revere's got to see that they're going to hand that ball off to number 11. They're going to pick up the gap. They're going to go for the flags. Second down, Viking. Thought someone fell. Smother up to the line. Is hand guarding a spot foul? Yes, I believe it's where they, wherever the official sees that they blocked. Oh, oh fumble. Dead ball. Dead ball. Lost dead ball. One. That's good for Rivera. Loss of down, so third down in about nine. We have Carolina coming in for number 24, Lynn Tran at safety. Oh, fumble, fumble again, oh. fourth down for Winthrop. Oh. So let's see what happens here and see if Winthrop's going to go for it or they're going to punt. That'll bring up fourth down for the Vikings. It's a big stop here for Rivera. Let's see if they can hold them here on fourth down. About four minutes left in the third quarter. Looks like Winthrop's going to go for it. The offense is staying on the field. It's a tough yep. spot here. They want to try to preserve the shutout. Yeah, two soccer players out here on the field. Angela Hoon and Carolina Botero talking up strategy on the field with Gianna and Anna Santos. Oh, she got that got one. Got the trick play going. Nice oh, pull by number 86, Bella Correa with the pull Huge. to stop him on fourth down. Make a big defensive play there by Bella Correa. <laughs> The D end coming up huge on that play right there. Big stop on fourth down. Revere ball. Revere's ball first and 10, heading into score. Revere's offense back on the field. Step number 67, Diane. Minko in there now. It looks like she probably played a fullback role. See a big hold here. Carolina Batero out wide with Gianna Mahoney. Skyler's in the fullback position. Hand off to Skyler on the outside. Skyler DeSimone's running through. Oh. She got tripped up right at the line of scrimmage. Gain of about three. Oh, no, that's a questionable spot there. Yeah, it looked like she got forward, but... Good stop. It's about a gain of one or maybe a half a yard, but second down. With offensive line, number 60, Lillian Calderon holding her own up there. Right next to Marisa Oliveira and number 75, Raisa Nova. Second down, Revere. Carolina with the fish off. to the outside of the handoff. She has the outside. She oh. can't stay up on her feet. She's having a hard time. She's Carol slid. About third down and seven. Goes that on the tackle. I'd like to see some trick play or at least a throw and play here by Rivera. Catch Winthrop off guard since they're waiting. They know it's going to be a run play. Try to come off the right side this time. They're luring them in, keep pushing over to the left. Yeah, you guys switch it up here. I hope Coach Coots comes up with a creative play right now. Winthrop's D's just coming up big with the flag pulls and making the big stops when needed. It's all right, third down and seven. Right. 
Gianna Mahoney with the play. run. Oh, what a juke. Nice play, Gianna. Oh, she gets inside the 20. She's going. She's got oh, oh, she got her flag pulled. I think that was enough for the first, first down. Definitely first down. That's the wrong flag. The girl's giving her back the wrong flag. The it's a nice play by Gianna Mahoney, getting them in some positive yardage. It's first and 10 on the 18 yard line for your Patriots. Winthrop thought they had the stop in the backfield, but I think they pulled Skyler's flag. Instead, we have number 50 going out, Trinity Sim. We have number 55 getting the play from Coach Coots. I think Gianna Mahoney is going to go in as quarterback right now. She's coming in with the play call. We have about one minute and 20 seconds in the third quarter. Revere's still down 28 nothing. Plays being called. I think Coach Cooch is switching it up a little bit at quarterback position. Got to get something going. Just about a minute left in the quarter. Get some points on the board. Oh, fake handoff. Get that corner, she cuts up the middle. Flag is pulled. You got some nice blocking in the, on the line by the whole offensive line. The 43 seconds in the quarter, but I think Coach Coots is gonna let the time run down. And we're gonna go down the other end for the start the third. Three weeks from today, December 11th, Army-Navy game. Who do you got? Army's having a heck of a year. Army is playing really <laughs> well. They are. Probably going to go with Army. They look a lot better than Navy this year. They sure do. Two days after that, the National Guard celebrates its 385th birthday. It's amazing. Older than the United States itself. It is. It's gonna, that's going to be the end of the third quarter. We're going to head into the fourth. Coach Coot's going to be aware of that. You're gonna flip the field here? Yeah, we're gonna flip the field. Took a lot of time off the clock with the delay play call. We gotta get those plays in a little bit faster so we can uh, get some more points on the board. We can have a nice comeback this fourth quarter, score some, put some points on the board. East one, we can't get the shit, we can't let them have a shutout. Starting the fourth quarter, 11 minutes. Very second in about eight. Gianna Mahoney. Wow, but right off the line. Right off the line. I don't know what happened there. I think Gianna thought they already blew the play dead. No flag on the play. Sure, looks like the lineman just got in there. It looks like Amara is coming back in at quarterback. With third down and goal. Just got the play call coming back to the huddle. I think John I thought the officials the already blew the whistle dead, played dead, before she pitched the ball. Sorry, Joe. Everybody's up over the ball. The officials just helping them out a little bit. 
Pitched back to Skyla De Simone. Skyla, oh, did not get anywhere. That's a loss of downs. Big play by number 24 for Winthrop. Winthrop just cutting through that line like a hot knife through butter. They know exactly what's going to happen. They know the play. They know it's going to run and play. Coach Coots calling the whole team in now. Yeah, we got about 9, 9.25 left. Fourth down. Oh, it looks like maybe they called the timeout. But the clock is the still clock running. The clock is still running. <laughs> Someone needs to tell the scorekeeper that. The crowd busted out the cowbell about a day late and a dollar short as we have 8.30 left in the game. Revan just ran about three minutes off the clock on this delayed fourth down. And they're calling for more cowbell. Oh, Carolina Batero is going to try for oh, they're gonna try a to field goal. Stymie the, uh, the shutout. It's one of your soccer players? Yep, Carolina Batero. Nope. Oh, line drive line into the drive. end zone. After all that, eight minutes off the clock, eight minutes left on the clock, it's a turnover on down. You have Carolina Botero at safety, along with Angela Hu, number 51, Anna Santos at linebacker. So run play. Oh, oh what a block. Oh, what a tackle. What a tackle by number 22, Angela Hu. Revere defense put no, some it's gonna fire be a in the pot. Yeah, it's going to be a penalty, I believe, on number 21. Bella Carrillo was in there right off the line, and Angela Hu just kind of wrapped her up. It's six minutes right running. Offsetting penalties here. Third down. Holding. Holding. The defense. Unsportsmanlike. The penalties offset. Third down. That'll bring up a second down for the Vikings. Oh, second down. Revere Shand and see you Thursday. See you to Thursday. To the Winthrop crowd. Clock just keeps running. I don't know what's going on with the clock. But it's under six minutes left in the game. I don't think they do that, though. Winthrop's coming back with a We Can't Hear You chant to the Revere fans. 
You got another handoff. Oh, oh nice, nice pull stop. by Bella Korea. And it is a first down now. That's enough for a first down. Bella is getting some flags this uh, second half. She's on fire. Definitely their leading tackler. Definitely. They keep running to her side, so she's making the big plays. Five and a half to go in the fourth quarter. Rivera's going to make a big stop if they want to try to get the ball back on offense. Maybe try to go in for a score. The long bus ride home. I think it's shut out. Yeah. Some long play calling. Short game, I think you'd want to play quick and fast, yep. not delay it, make everybody tie. And I got Bella on the outside of the DN. You have to have a 21. Oh, fumble. fumble. Dead ball. Dead ball. So second down. Second 11, loss of one. Yeah. We have Trinity Samuels on the outside, and number 81, Mariana on the outside, along with Bella and Angela and Amara Skeet, Carolina Botero. Our off uh, defensive line is number yeah, 70, yeah. Marissa and Gianna, Astrid, and Trinity. Winthrop comes to the line, let's see what Winthrop has here, second and about 15. Pitch outside to number 11. Nice pull, oh, nice pull by number 81, Mariana at safety. At cornerback, actually, is a nice pull. It's a loss of one, maybe. It's a big play here. There's under four minutes to go in the game. Just got to get the ball back. Rand needs one play just to score. Let's see if they come up with a flea flicker, a little giant annexation of Puerto Rico there and <laughs> score. <laughs> Winthrop's taking their time, they're killing the clock. Revere crowd's getting into it now, we're a little late, but I love the atmosphere over there in the Revere crowd. Starting the wave. It's great to see these kids here today supporting the girls who There's go and the support wave. them. Oh, they got it almost all the way down. I think they got to start it again. Revere's just having fun. Here we go, let's see if they get it all the way down. Almost had it, one. Oh, looking for the pass looking for play. Back to throw. Broke up. On the pursuit, what a block in the backfield. Oh, oh. she broke a tackle. Oh. We have a dirty uh, late hit by number 14 out of bounds on number 36, Carolina Matero. She kind of blindsided her on the hit out of bounds. She wasn't looking and she, she hit her. So let's see if Carolina's okay. Is that number 36? Yeah, it's number 36. She was running, and uh, Winter Player stepped right in front of her and kind of blindsided her on the outside. Thought the official was going to throw the flag, but he kind of let it go. Clock stopped at 251. Hopefully she's got the not got the wind knocked out of her. Yeah. That's she's what it looks up, like. Kid, she's up. All right, there we go. She has a soccer game tomorrow for the Eastern Mass All-Stars, so hopefully she's gonna be able to play. It looks like she got her hip. The yeah. little clock on the outside. She's a tough kid. She's taking a lot of big kids like that, but that was kind of wasn't expected. It. Well, they gave Winthrop the first down. Looks like Winthrop's gonna run out the clock with two minutes, and Las Vegas comes up big with a big stop here. We have number 24, Lena Tran, coming in at safety to replace Carolina Patera. Clock starts. The clock 
unplugged is now running. Northrop's just going to take their time. Check the uh, replay. It's got the handoff to number 11. So we'll play the other some way. flags. We've got a couple flags. Come back. On Winthrop. Oh, it's coming all the way back. It's going to come all the way back. It doesn't count. It's holding, holding on the offense. Oh, what a shame. What a shame. Clock still running. Yep, oh. clock's still running on that. Well, we got a two-minute warning this, this half. Mariah Rogers Hurst has been found. Please report to the Winthrop Society to retrieve your goods. So we back them up 10 yards. It's a good run by number 11, but I got called back for a hold. Skyler do some holds in the backfield now at safety. Third and almost 20. Let's get to the See first down. See if can okay. make a pick six. The clock's running, but I believe it's... They might be right with this one, but Winthrop's just going to take their time and kill the clock. Is there a play clock? I don't know. I thought there was, but I mean, Rivera ran off four minutes when they attempted field goal, so I don't know what's going on. But the 28 nothing, they could just be running time, but... Yeah. They're going to go with a handoff again to number Same 11. Same exact play. Oh, it's oh, the backfield. Nice pickup by number 87, uh, 67. Diane. Nice play. Right off that corner. She came I mean, in they, hot. She knew it was coming. They ran the same play four times in a row. Yeah, they've been running that play the whole half. Yep, there's one minute left. I believe they're just going to run the time out. They're getting right up to the ball. Winthrop is going to take their time. I believe they're going to knee it. I just saw that their coach giving their quarterback the initial knee sign. So we'll see what happens. Well, if anything, this will set the stage for Thursday. It was a great game, perfect day, perfect weather. The whole line just nailed down. Yep. So Winthrop will take this one this year. Congratulations, Winthrop. It's a good hard fight between both teams. No, both teams played really well. They did. Couple of miscues from Rivera. Could have went either way. The party is the fish and bowl on Agile. Rivera definitely gave it their all. These kids have worked hard for a month and a half with coaches after school, late nights. But it's a great day to see a great crowd. Good luck.